Hey, what's going on, y'all? Back with another one, back with another one. Yeah, you know, this is this is basically what I'm seeing right now in these uh, certain spaces, man. Like, you know, last night, of course, I have do my little recording, whatever. Or should I say, yeah, it's a lot of things going on. But, you know, like people, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a while year in 2023. And, and then I think Citizen Lou had a stream was it yeah last night i'm gonna post this today and then i'll do another stream for y'all sunday i'll drop you know two streams over the weekend or whatever so it's pretty much it it's getting bad out here <laughs> it is getting bad out here because basically what i'm saying is is like you see this coming but he said they're going to rumble i said that last year outside Somebody's been listening. And then another individual said, what about the mainstream manager? They, they cooking uh, Anthony Johnson. It's over for them. It's over for him. I, I told you he wasn't shit. He, he was a sucker. He was a sucker, man. I told you he wasn't ish. Excuse me, because, you know, I didn't mean to say that. That's where you know how YouTube is. Like, but he wasn't yet. No way. But he wasn't. He just proved my point the whole time and then they don't even get along i try to tell you the mainstream ministry is finished these dudes is clowns bro all they do is uh complain and and all day about females all day like that shit gets old and people get tired of shit but that's the thing about youtube a lot of people don't post no more i don't post as much as either you know i did the live streams just for y'all from last year this year it's just kind of like i'm gonna do live streams but it's not gonna be i'm gonna stick the ones i'm gonna schedule and then just get them out of the way you know what i'm saying that's that's how i'm gonna do it. i schedule my stuff and then you know my my ish or whatever you're trying to do what's best but see this recording stuff I, i'm okay with this this don't bother me at all this is in the daytime i'm gonna record this today because just my thoughts on everything so far in 2023 i may title this or whatever this is going to be the actual thing but then later on today the i'll record again and talk about something else for this coming sunday you know i may record tomorrow you know this is like a back-to-back -back recording because this one is just just off kiltered but i will record tomorrow because I, I may record tomorrow morning and just speak my mind on it and just be like, you know. But yeah, everything is is straight, you know. And I've been playing this Fallout 4, man. It, it's <laughs> that game is something else. I mean, it's very creative and it does a lot of things it said it does. But them settlements are annoying. I see why people like it. It's an open world RPG. And I was playing it, and I was like, man, you know, Fallout has some Armageddon features to it. But that vault is based off that military. So they in the 22nd century going on to the 23rd century. And if you're in the year 20, 20 uh, the year 22 to 80 something, that's that's a long time. It's like 200 some years. That's he's in the 23rd century. So they're futuristic. And that's the thing about the Fallout series, because see, the 21st century has been bad for years and years. And so you have these things coming about what you have seen. But normally you don't see this a lot all the time. And most people just get caught up on the wrong, you know, wrong shit all the time. So, like I said, the world's different. And, you know, the Internet's changing. I saw a Reddit video that someone posted in a, in a share. And my advice to y'all people that's on that on that shit. Leave Reddit alone. If you're a reddit user or subscribe to my channel leave reddit alone my advice just delete that because it, it, nothing good comes out of that that's where reddit's been trash just leave reddit alone i'm, just, I'm gonna say i ain't gonna say much but leave reddit alone reddit is not the future it's been garbage forever yeah and they, and they write about those modders everybody's been right about them but leave reddit alone reddit is the most sorriest uh, apps of all time period I don't know who's worse, them or Discord. Both of them are garbage. Because 
you see this a lot and then this is where the doxing and the trolling comes in the trolling is fine the doxing part is where the craziness comes in that's that's why i don't like and they do that stuff for a living that's what's wrong with the internet that's why the internet is garbage as it is now that's why people don't mess with it. they say that's part of it no the internet was never like that you suckers got on and had a lot of power then there's a problem with certain people but people get caught up on the wrong stuff and then they that they are expecting a cop a plea and do all this other stuff. Ain't nobody doing that. Ain't nobody doing that. But you know, this is just a little recording, uh, what I see right now. And it's pretty much the same, but you get caught up on the wrong stuff and then people get what they see is what they get. You don't see this a lot, you know, in other communities, but I'm going to speak on this destiny character. He was going at this, uh, Twitch, stream, uh, Twitch streamer. I think his name was Kai. He's, he's a popular Twitch guy that streams. But when you think about him, you like, okay, this guy yells the screen, kind of like you rage. They do, but that's the thing. Most people are entertained. They're just laughing at what he does. I know it's a little annoying, but the way he does it, it could be over frivolous stuff. Daquan Wiltshire used to scream in his content. Y'all don't say nothing about him, but shouts out to Daquan Wiltshire. And, uh, you know, he's a comedian, but he does that. He can't do nothing on YouTube no more because, you know, foul language, profane language is, is big in comedy and entertainment. But these kids ruin YouTube. That's all I'm going to say about it. kids ruin YouTube. And this Copa law destroyed YouTube. And I try to tell you, about four years ago, I, I say four years ago, and I'm saying this, four years ago, YouTube already died four years ago. It died way before that, <laughs> beyond four years ago. Because see, 2012, that's when it, it was already dead. After 2012, it's over. See, it died in 08 when it it was it was in its dying phase in 08, and then when 2012 came, that's when they, they killed it. They killed it. And look at it now. They've killed a lot of stuff. The Google Plus and all that, and then the Hangouts, they all go together. Google has bad products. But when you look at um, 2019, that whole year, everything has been washed. It's over. See, at first, I didn't think I was going to do content again. I could have came back in 2019, and there it is. It's not real content, right? But 2019 is a whole nother story, but we ain't going to get into that. But 2020, that was the pandemic era. Panelists for a minute on that year, my comeback year. And then I was going to do streams. I didn't think I was going to do that the next year. Next year, I came back with pre records and then I came back doing live streams in April and did it ever since. And I kind of stopped. I'm taking a break this month because you're not going to see me live. You'll see me in February. I'll talk about various things. I'm ahead of it because so-called Black History Month. You know, I'm going to be talking about a little ish. That's what I do on Sunday Madness, and then we're going to go raw. But it's pretty much you just out there you know spewing it you know everybody's on the football stuff and the, or whatever but speaking of football you know football has been been shaky baby it's been shaky baby but it's pretty much you just seeing what you get well today you got the chiefs and the raiders you got the titans at eight Oh, this game's day. Yeah, college football is done until there's a national championship. I think it's this coming up Monday. Tomorrow, Ravens and Bengals. You know, of course. Yeah, it's it, it's pretty much a gone. I don't, I don't see who's who's leading. Yeah, the Bills should win their games. They should win. Uh, the Chiefs, yeah, they already set. You know, there's teams set in the playoffs. Ravens are set. Yeah, man. Yeah, the AFC South's been they they've been over. You know, it's 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 not really much to talk about, but yeah, but back to this Destiny character. All oh, my Eagles is third. 13 and 3. The Cowboys will probably lose the game. Watch. I already know. They're going to lose the game. Everybody's in the wild card. 
But Eagles got to clinch the division. They got to win. Let me get that blue. That's pretty much it. Yeah, the Eagles been undefeated for the first half, and then they lost one to the Cowboys and the Commanders, and their recent loss to the other team. That's their three losses. That's a solid team. Got some injuries, but, you know, Philadelphia is unique. I don't know who they playing tomorrow. I got to see who they playing tomorrow. And it's pretty much like, you know, you see what you get. But that Kai guy on Twitter, um, Twitch is, is pop. Let me see some who playing tomorrow. Oh, they play the Giants. Yeah, the Giants is the one going to be a tough one. Yeah, they should, beat, they should beat the Giants, but the Giants, that's a good team. You know, damn, who the Cowboys play? Who the Cowboys play? Who the girls play? Shit. Who the girls play? Damn, this thing won't scroll. Or... Yeah. Don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. Let me see something real quick. Oh, the Commanders is playing them. Oh, they playing the Cowboys. Oh, the Commanders might win that game. Cowboys probably ain't going to win that game. It's a rivalry game, but the Commanders, they think they can beat the Cowgirls. But, yeah, it, you know, it's it's pretty much the same. You know, YouTube wants that pre-recorded content. That's basically what it is. All this other stuff that they got, it, it's just a bunch of nonsense. But, you know, they try to say a connection issue. Ain't no wrong with connection. They just on some BS. I'm recording. <laughs> if I was really... I had a connection issue. I would have end this right now. But it's basically, like I said, you're going to see this all the time on YouTube. But you got to understand that's the type of stuff that people are not mindful of. And that's the future. You know, yeah, live streams is good, but you're not getting paid for the ones that's top. You know, they want entertainment. Entertainment streams, you, you might as well forget it and get signed on. The Internet is really dying. Ain't that much options if people create their own site. And that's when people going to get on because the Internet is is very saturated with nonsense. So YouTube is no better because they went mainstream and they sold out. They sold out a long time ago. I, I've been telling you all this off. Um, I've been telling you all this outside streams since two years ago in 2021. This is 2023 right now. I've been telling you all that it's going to change. I was saying this two years ago and now it's relevant and it's, it's resonating with certain people. I've been saying this. You can watch my recent outside streams talking about things that are going to change and you see people and people didn't believe me. And it was all these, uh, ridiculous 12 hour or 24 hour streams that, that, that stuff gets ridiculous at the time. Then you get exposed and then the trolls come airing you out. It's over. They start saying, we're audience member. We audience, man, get out of here with that weak shit. Y'all just want to support the nonsense and the bullshit all day. There you are. That's what y'all do, man. That's why these so-called red spill spaces is a bygone age. No one cares about it no more. But that's that's what I've been saying. I, I've been saying the longest. A lot of people just don't care about that type of content anymore. There's other content creators, but they care and then they don't care, but they want entertainment. Our people is, is brainwashed. They get to all forms of ideology. I teach the truth of y'all's people and that's it. And I teach a lot of other things. And then I talk about current events and all that stuff. I speak my mind on here. That's what it is for. That's why I use YouTube for a lot of reasons. I use it for a certain platform. I use this as a hobby. Because now everybody's going to talk about politics and education and give y'all solutions to move forward. That's That's the thing to look at. But when you got people constantly pushing entertainment and nonsense and the BS, it's going to continue. You got to understand it's a market, but it's a bullshit market. Not everybody gets paid on advertisement. Advertisements for suckers. I've been saying this for the longest. Um, advertisement don't make real money. A lot of people say they do. No, they do not. People in power don't care about that. That's chump change to them. They got the power and the influence and propaganda to brainwash people. 
But I did saw a recording. Someone said, stop using the word passport bros. I call them lost bros because they lost. And shouts out to the ass Nathaniel. He exposed what they do over there. And see, Boo Boo was going against them too. You know, I'm saying see Boogie. I call him see Boo. That's his nickname. I, I, I like to clown and troll him. But uh, they're right. And you are a target by the government because it is a national security risk. And, and you dudes better just tighten up, man. Just because they legalize prostitution, that means you ain't going to play. Period. And that's, it's it's controlled. It's just like fascism. But we ain't going to get into that. But that's a whole nother time. I can speak on that on the stream and talk about stop using it. It's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt your uh, cause. And that's how the weirdos get in. And, and then, you know, pedophilia is so big out there. A lot of people try to say it ain't big. No, it's big out there. They just like to lie a lot. But that's a whole nother, you know, stream and content I can talk about next month when I'm streaming. And people get caught up on other things. But that's the thing. That's the thing about people. They just get caught up on the wrong things. And then there you are. And that's it. But mostly we see this on YouTube. It's not just black or white YouTube. It's YouTube, period. You know what I'm saying? Y'all excuse me one second. Sorry about that. My nose was getting blotchy on me. But that's been taken care of. I'm going to set this down and start from the top. But like I say, when you get people caught up on that nonsense, you already know what time it is. People are going to look at you like you're crazy. But you got to understand, this stuff is going to matter to most people. So basically what I'm saying is, don't rock the boat. <laughs> Don't rock the boat. It's just like people are not buying it no more. So, you know, yeah, you know, I just want to speak on my mind about what's going on, you know, now and this year. It's going to be a rocky year, another rocky year. And a lot of people say, you know, ain't nothing changed. It's just people want to play these games. And YouTube is obsolete, man. Like everybody's going elsewhere. I see a move to other platforms and. You can't do what you want like you used to. It's over. It's been over. And if you pre-record, they respect that. The best view wins, I guess, but it don't mean anything. But pre-record takes time. It ages well. It ages well. I, I, I'm living proof. My stuff grew in time from, I will say, from two years ago when I did that utilitarianism stream, right? The pros and cons of utilitarianism. It didn't have that many views and it got some hundreds, some views. I told you there's growth. People watch it. There's growth. And the more you watch it, there's more growth. New people come all the time. But this is not the site I, I promote my actual stuff, but I do it all the time. Yeah, I used to pre record, got a lot of views. I already done mastered that. That's easy. I had a computer, a laptop talking. And got pictures saved on the Windows computer. I already have that. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty much straightforward what's going on. So when you have things like this, you know what's going to happen. And that's pretty much the same that people get caught up on on the tube and just go crazy. But, you know, yeah, but every social network, video sharing or social media has been trashed for the last, I'll say 10 years. Five to 10 years has been garbage. Prior to that, it was decent, but 10 years in the making, like five to 10 years in the making, it's been trash. It's been terrible. It's been terrible since 2012. Like I try to tell you, I've been around a long time. And I can tell you, it's nothing changed. Same old BS. Ain't nobody talking about nothing. It was good back in those days. I miss the days of old YouTube. Them days is gone, man. You, we got to move past that, and especially 2012. I miss the days when you have actual content. YouTube wasn't my favorite site then. In 2012, when I made this channel, I was going against the grain and the system. 
That's what this channel is built off a combination of a lot of things and then bring information. And then that's it. And I became a content creator. My shit grew in, um, that was four years ago. I didn't get a thousand subscribers like since four years ago. That was 2019. 2019, I didn't have a thousand. It just creeped up one day and I got it. I didn't buy that. 2018, I didn't have a thousand. But when 2019 came around, I, that's when I have a thousand. When I had a thousand subscribers, people kept watching my shit. They kept watching it. And they kept watching it profusely and they understood the information. I didn't really come back till like 2020. And after that, I was doing good content, but pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. But people get caught up in there and there they are. So then again, you know, you do what you do. 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 I'm just not surprised by people saying uh, shit about me on the side or whatever. It, it don't, I don't really care. But that's it. You know, I, I had to speak my mind what's going on in 2023, man. It's going to be a wild one. And hey, until next time, I'll say shalom and peace and I'm out.